Ah, oh, they've jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... Ha! <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz. Long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... Yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Jappard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no, Captain Jappard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. Well, this is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Behind us, we have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives to the forces surrounding us. As such, starting from today, we will be adding 200 bench presses and 30 extra minutes of one-armed planks to our daily drill. Is that clear? Yes, sir. See? That was easy. You're Jepard's sister, all right. Hmm. I haven't seen one of those for a long time. Hmm. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. They do. The Architects believe that Hell can exist on any world, a plight that will inevitably come to be without intervention. In the future, a terrible catastrophe will arrive. If, under Klopoth the Preservation's guidance, we fail to construct a barrier, that catastrophe will sweep away the stars. Plunge. That's the belief of the Architects. But for us, Hell is an endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Right on! I'm stealing that! <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I helped set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them! Is Jepard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. <laughs> Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? Oh, sure did. Palo was on lead vocals this time. Scared me half to death. It's a completely different style. Even mechanical fever is changing. <sighs> Rock and roll's dead. There's no audience anymore. Don't be so pessimistic. 
They're just keeping things fresh. I thought Palo was pretty good. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Jafard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? You can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work! You! Hold it right there. This is a military base. Temporary workers aren't allowed in. That's it! The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Hmm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. 
So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Yo, evening soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn. This guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. him? You bet I do. We go way back. He's easy to talk to. Watch me persuade him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you hear Malik is being reassigned? Seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Seriously? No way. I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go. As long as it's away from the front line, I'd happily be reassigned. It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. Eh, you make it sound terrible. Good luck preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Our purpose as Silvermane Guards is to protect the citizens of Bellabog. Hey, done! It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. S Surval! It's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool! Pleased to meet you. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Weird smell. <clears throat> Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable! Especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know... If you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? 
And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? Uh... <laughs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. There goes the negotiation. brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. to get vigilant. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Time to get Vigilant! Who's the lucky one today? My turn! Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. Batter up! Stay close! Here stands the Silvermane Guard! A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars! You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Today, everything is ordained by the star. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing. The time is now. The truth of life and death, revealed in this sanctuary, is but a vision. Serval? Why? 
I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would've been enough to expose us. Clemency? Never heard of it. Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> I have no interest in stoking conflict. Let's rock! Watch this! Let's make it cool. Better up! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Too late to repent. This song's just for you. Turn up the volume. My turn. The best is yet to come. Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! the end of the story in your own way. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! It's too late to repent. Pretty good 
pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume! <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Or rock with it. My music conquers all. Uh, rules are made to be broken. You have stayed your welcome. Uh, the truth of life and death. Revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. This song's just for you. Keep up my tempo. My turn. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Better up. We're in. Time. Who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode. Who the heck added that? And they used one of my songs. Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Um, Sir Vol, won't more Silvermane guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Yep. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge Back. straight through the blockade. Let's play it by ear. Uh... Careful, there's a big guy up ahead. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. If we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go! Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Clemency? Never heard of it. Keep up my tempo! Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! The truth of life and death, revealed in it this sanctuary, 
is but a vision. Great. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Uh, rules are made to be broken! Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's rock! I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Huh. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Energy restored, system online, certification enabled. Come on, come on! 40%, 65%, 85%? We did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance. Or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. We need to be sure, Sival. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. I haven't fought with Jepard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... Keep at it. Serval. It really is you. Wait, Jepard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet, step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves, ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone, attacking my Silver Main comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We've found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum! It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, 
Why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge and that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end! Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. Our position is solid. Move carefully. The truth of life and death. Revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision. <laughs> With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Just for you. Let's rock! You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Let's go. Can't run! 
pretty good crowd today. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's make it quick. Truth of life and death, revealed in it, this sanctuary, is but a vision! Resistance is futile! Relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. I don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah! Our goal is the same as yours! Sir Falls and Branya's! We just want to preserve this world! There's no reason to turn against each other! Jepard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism! Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me! Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. <sighs> There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Mane Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. But, Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Balabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. 
They're not lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the Underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the Snow Plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. I gotta admit, I had a lot of... misunderstandings. The difference is, we're making a stand for freedom. Of course I do. I've understood them for a while now. But as far as I can tell, she doesn't need other people's understanding. It's the same with Japard. I... Put ourselves in their shoes? <sighs> Easier said than done. I think I can already hear the storm on the other side of the city wall. I hope Serval's right. That supreme lunatic better not have harmed Branya. You see? Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. What's wrong with a bit of violent coexistence between siblings? Seems pretty normal to me. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. Since I left the military, my brother and I have always steered clear of certain sensitive topics. <sighs> Thinking about it. Perhaps. Knowing my temper, my brother almost certainly went to great lengths on many occasions for me. Let's do this. I may never have come face to face with it, but this Stellaron cost me a nice, stable job. It's time to get even. Actually, I have another selfish motive. I want to prove to Kokolia that, sorry, uh, hardly the time for me to be upset. Uh, enough apologizing. My ears can't take any more. Honestly, this would have happened sooner or later. You just gave me an excuse to bring everything forward. As I mentioned, if we want to progress further north, we're gonna have to cross that... hell. Still, look at it this way. Just another arena to showcase our skills, right? Now, if you're ready to get on stage, let's push for that standing ovation. Hit <laughs> 